Howdy, Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, doing an unboxing from my office. Actually, uh, the background is a green screen, so yeah, I got my green screen working, and I'm excited. So I'm going to be doing some videos from my office, and in this case, it's an unboxing. I got a package from Big Bad Toy Store. A while back and or a couple days ago stuff came in I was very excited about it um, I'm redoing my office I'm remodeling my whole man cave etc because it's going to be more enjoyable for me now the first thing I got in the package is this It's a Superman. It is the Page Punchers 7 inch figure from the Black Adam series. And I've been looking for more of a classic Superman style. And this had it a little darker in tone, but this is not going to get put up in my cabinet. It's going to be basically displayed this way on the shelving unit and when I get a Superman comic in that I'm getting graded it'll go with it on a shelving unit and it'll look a lot nicer and be much more enjoyable now I may have to switch and I think I will switch to my kitchen because well to be honest with you The arcade, yeah, it's, I'm going to have to switch to kitchen, but the Replicade Amusement Cubert machine arrived, and I'm a big fan of Cubert. I mean, maybe I should try and open it up here. It's a little tight for space because of the green screen. Yeah. So, should have gotten a bigger green screen. This is tight. Yeah, I'm gonna pause until I can get the uh, back again. Thanks for thanks for sticking with it. Um, I had to unbox everything. There was a lot of unboxing. I mean, there was box within box within box. But I finally got this opened up. This is the Replicade. Yeah. Hubert Arcade Machine, and I am excited about this. There were three video games when I was a child that I loved to play when I was in the arcade. I have a Pac-Man Machine Arcade 1-Up that I did an assembly video about. Um, I'll maybe link it to the upper corner or down in the description. And that has not only Pac-Man, but Galaga, which was my second, or, yeah, my second favorite video game. Hubert here was my third favorite video game. And Arcade 1-Up doesn't do a Qbert game for some reason, and hasn't done a Qbert game. So I had to deal with the Replicate here, and... Hopefully be able to get everything set up. I'll do another part. I'll add and edit stuff together once I get it out of the box and get it set up and get it running because, you know, that's what I'll do. It's just one of those things where unboxing it, I didn't bother to try and do all the unboxing on here because I'm limited in space with the green screen. Probably should have done it in my kitchen, but like I said, I got my green screen set up. It's working. Everything's working fine. 
and we'll have some fun once I get the Qbert machine set up and we'll go from there. If you're watching so far, thank you for watching this far. That helps in letting YouTube know that I'm doing worthy content. And I'll mention right now, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon if you really like things. Uh, that helps again with the YouTube algorithms and helps my channel grow, brings in new subscribers. I'm just trying to do this organically and have some fun with it. Um, again, I'll get into once I open this and I'll do a review and we'll go from there. So far, thanks for watching. Okay, this is me in the kitchen and I finally got this unboxed and set up. Let's boot up. And yeah, it starts out with the coin slots lighting up, then the header lights up. I'll push it back, and there we go. It's running. It is actually running. And so it boots up, it runs, and we can play with it and see if we can get a game going. Hello, hi, very bad. It's been a while since I played the game. Uh, yeah. If you saw, I pressed the first uh, slot to deposit a coin, then hit the player one button. It's really tiny. It's really, it works well. I forget that Qbert plays on that diagonal, not up and down straight. So getting used to the controllers again is something interesting. So now I'm going to get it set up onto a bigger screen using the HDMI output. I did try hooking this up to my TV, but it wasn't working very well. So I busted out a spare monitor that I had. It's a older HDMI spare monitor that I use for my computer. And I plugged everything in. And let's see if I can get it to work. Okay, so far it's working. My new TV, it didn't work on. But this older HDMI monitor, it's working great on. So let's have some gameplay and see what's going on here and how this works out overall. Hello, hi, very bad. That sucked. Let's see if I can keep going. For some reason, on my newer television, it didn't work at all. I have an older HDMI television. I might give that a try, but I pulled this old monitor out that I have and hooked everything up, and it's working gorgeous. I mean, it's sound-wise, it's not that great, but overall, I mean, it's it's working, and I had have to pull out the old monitor if I want to play this game in a larger format. It's kind of interesting that it actually works. And I'll show you how everything is set up. And once I get done playing this game, I'll show you my setup here. Game over. Uh, it's funny. You have to do the entry of your initials by doing the Qbert ball type thing. Now, I'll tell you right now, I've played this before just to try it out, make sure everything works, make sure it can be repeatable. When I set it up, I plugged the HDMI cable into, I had a spare one, into the back of the monitor and into the back of the Qbert machine. 
And once I had power to the monitor, I turned on the game and it worked fine. And again, it's repeatable. I was able to do it multiple times. Now, as you see, the game is off to the side. I'm going to shove it in. And then you got the pull out here. Um, I'm going to show you the setup. And the setup is very simply a monitor and the video game. I don't know why it worked on a, didn't work on a more advanced television, but this older monitor, which is maybe four or five years old, it worked fine. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, thumbs up, leave a comment. If the, you found this informative, yeah, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by.